Hello everybody, it's Big B from Clee here. Welcome back to another Roblox scripting tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make an o a owner title above your head. So this is a very very simple scripting tutorial. If you want to see more Roblox scripting tutorials, make sure to like and subscribe. Turn your notification bell on if you want to get notifications for all my videos. I'm trying to post daily now, so it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe and like the video. Also, leave a comment if there's any suggestions that you have or there's any problems that you have. I also have a Discord server. Link will be in the description. You can go ahead and join it if you want. And let's get started. All right, everybody. So first, we're going to want and start to design the thing that actually displays above your head. So first, you're going to go ahead and insert a part. This is going to be uh, our kind of test, so it's temporary. So I'm going to shrink this now to one stud by one stud by one stud, but you don't have to. Now inside of here, you're going to want to go ahead and insert a billboard GUI. So here's your billboard GUI. I'm going to rename this to owner GUI. Okay, you can do that too, but it's optional. Now, you can kind of see where the owner GUI is. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to first you can enable always on top. So, what this does is it can show through block. This thing can show through blocks if you have this on. So you don't have to, but I'm gonna turn it on. This is optional. Now, max distance. This is the max distance that you can see. So I'm gonna set it to 100, and so now you can see that it should eventually, yep, you can see that it just disappears. So that's your distance, all right? And now you're going to want to do ex extents offset. Now I believe one of these you can change. I think it's the middle one. I'm gonna change it to three. You can change it to whatever you want, but that's how much you want it off the head. Three is pretty good. Two is also pretty good. All right, there you go. So now inside of this owner GUI, you're going to want to insert a text label. So here is your text label. You can see it right here. Um, now let's start making it look like a owner sign. All right, I just went ahead and uh, made it the way that I want it to. So I did sci-fi for the font, in case you were wondering. And I did red and I had a text stroke, which is an outline for it. So now you can see that you can get, so you can adjust um, how far you can view it. You get a better view now that you uh, can actually see it. Now you're going to move the GUI into replicated storage and then you can delete the part so now you're going to want to go ahead go into starter player and then starter character scripts now we want starter character and not starter player so that the script is inside of the character so now you're going to want to go ahead and insert a normal script so you're going to want to do local id Okay, and now you're going to do equal to, and then you're gonna have a bunch of numbers. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to get your user ID, or whoever you want's user ID. This is, and we're going to want their ID because if they change your name, then it won't change your user ID. So if you change your name, then it won't work and you have to edit it. But if you use your ID, then you won't have to edit it if they change their name. So if you click play, um, just give it a second. This is one of the ways to get it. If you are in play, uh, okay, click play. Now in players, this is your character. And then down here, if you go to right here, just that's your user ID right there. Control C. Now you can click stop and go back over to your script. Equal to paste it. All right. Now local GUI is equal to game dot replicated whichever one you put it into i put in repl replicated storage dot and you're going to reference it so i did owner gui so that's how you get it now you're going to do so after this you're going to want to do local char char is equal to script dot parent now you're going to want to do ooh, local player is equal to game dot players colon get player from character this we're going to get the actual player 
and not the model. And so in this you're going to do char. And this is referencing the character. And so it knows where what player you're trying to get from the character. And so now you're going to do if player dot user and you're gonna have to spell user with a capital U, capital I, lowercase D for user ID is equal to two equal signs because you're trying to you're not trying to change something, you're trying to like find it. So is equal to and then ID then GUI dot parent is equal to char. And now let's go ahead and test it. So let's click play and let's test it. Alright, here we go. Yep. Boom. Owner. Now this does seem to be a little bit too far above my head. So it follows me. You can obviously change the distance above your head if you want. And you can't see it if you're like inside in first person. You can't see it up there. Yeah. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember, you can change this, you can do anything really with this. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Remember, I do have a Discord server in the description if you want to join that. And also make sure to subscribe for more content on how to do things in Roblox Studio. I'm really liking making these videos and I hope you enjoy. Alright everybody, I had a lot of fun making this video. Please make sure to join my Discord server and subscribe. I'll see you next one. Bye everyone.